Hello, Sandro. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, I'm Sandro Bandara Beratna, mm, and I joined the uh, Java Institute around uh, yeah, 2018, around August. Uh, then I started my uh, student life from that day onwards. So, uh, at first, I did the exam for the for the beginning and the scholarship exam that one uh, i got some uh, scholarship and i continued my journey then uh, after like after like uh, two or uh, three years i finished my degree and now uh, <clears throat> i'm working on a company called on the software engineering as an associate software engineer software engineer sorry uh, and i'm currently uh, involved in developing mobile applications Fantastic to hear. Uh, so, why did you decide to become a software engineer? What motivated you? So yeah, uh, even as a kid, I found these little things on the computer interesting. Like whenever I uh, went into some issue, I just wanted to find a fix to it. Like I was intrigued by the problems caused by it, but at that time I was too small to uh, do anything about it. So during my school life, uh, I got the initial uh, steps to, uh, to becoming a software engineer. Like those days, I started uh, coding in like basic languages. Uh, then after my uh, studies at school, I came across this Java Institute for uh, higher education. Uh, then I applied to it and then I started my uh, journey as a software engineer. That's fantastic. Uh, so, what can you tell us about the teaching methodology at the Java Institute? What has your experience been like? Uh, so, if I were to talk about the uh, teaching the Java Institute, like it's it's definitely not uh, is easy. The journey ahead in the Java Institute is not definitely easy, but the teaching is quite reliable and it's quite good. Like the information you gain from these uh, lecturers and the teachers on the Java Institute, it's immeasurable. It's very, uh, it's uh, quite valuable, and uh, like some some of the people may find it uh, quite difficult to catch on at the at first. I had it as well, but later on, as you go further, you uh, get the understanding on how it works, and you adapt to it, and it's uh, quite uh, good after that. That's great to hear. To hear that you have, uh, you had challenges, but you had to overcome them, and you were yeah. able to yeah. finally succeed. So it means it is anyone can do this. If they are determined, that's very yeah. good to hear. So, uh, as an undergraduate, what are the certifications that you completed with us? So, uh, I got the uh, SQS certification of the SQS certification of level seven, eight, and nine. Other than that, uh, I have the BCS certification of the uh, graduation. That's uh, I have I got a uh, first class degree. So, uh, those are the uh, certificates I got obtained from this college too. Congratulations on that first class. Uh, all right. So, what has your experience been now? Now you're a qualified software engineer and you're already working. So, what has that experience been like? Yeah, it's uh, it's hard to say at first because uh, during the university days, you don't you don't think actually about like would we be able to actually use this? Would this be actually uh, useful in the industry? Isn't this like a waste of time? Like, you get that feeling once you are in the industry, but in the in the university, sorry. But once you are in the industry, you get the full idea. Like, ah, so that's what they taught us. So that, this is why we need this. And the, those concepts and those uh, methodologies, they actually come in handy when you are actually working in a company. So that's very so. It, that's very uh, good to hear that you're able to use what you learned. Yeah. In your journey right so 
moving on, what kind of a, uh, oh, I believe that you have three main Viva projects that you complete during yeah. your course of study. So what were your yeah, yeah. three projects about? Yeah, so firstly, on the, on the first year, uh, we had uh, two main projects in the semester, individual uh, application for a real company, and the other one was a group project. So for the individual application, uh, I decided to make a uh, like a post-system management for a simple uh, pizza uh, store. Uh, then I presented it on, on the Viva. And for the group presentations, we had to get together on the groups from, from our batch. Uh, I think our, our group had around seven or eight members. Yeah, seven members. We created a system for a warehouse management system, which was, a, which was an actual store around Mount area. So yeah, that's what we did for the first year as the group project. Then for the second year, uh, the Viva we uh, we had to uh, complete was about yeah uh, uh, an e-commerce application. We uh, we had the option to choose whatever we want. So I went with the li uh, sorry, library management system, where like uh, it's a it's so actually like a library management system plus we can buy books and other stuff from that. So that that was my second year. Uh, second year practical examination and for the third year uh, we were supposed to build a mobile application so for that i uh, came across like at that time i was currently uh, taking some freelance projects so i came across this uh, this uh, institute where they needed a, a learning institute where they needed a system during those tr uh, troubled times with the covid they needed a system to help held online lectures to students so for that, uh, they needed a web and a mobile application. So for that, I made a mobile application with uh, Zoom integrated and payment system and everything integrated to the application. Uh, then I presented that as my uh, final year uh, practical. So those were the uh, three things that I did. Those are some fantastic projects, especially the last one, isn't it? <laughs> right. So what were you like as a student? I mean, uh, I mean, during your school days, what sort of student were you? Well, to be honest, uh, during my school days, I had no actual intention of becoming any software engineer or whatsoever. So uh, it's actually the last couple of uh, years on my school that I determined like when we had some, some like advanced level of IT, we had about coding and the concepts and developing application. That's when I thought, uh, this is the field I should study, this is the field I should pursue. Uh, I think this would benefit me in the future. And in other than that, I, I just found it uh, fantastic to work with these uh, technologies. So I pursued that, that as a career. That's fantastic. So uh, what sort of extracurricular activities were you involved in while, the, while studying at the Java Institute? Yeah, uh, when we are studying, uh, we just mainly focused on the studies. But if we talk about extracurricular, we had like when we had some free time, we had uh, like sports events, like cricket matches and those uh, kind of things. Uh, other than that, uh, like when the batches and everything get everyone get together, we had like small like uh, matches of chess, carom, and those sort of things. Uh, yeah, that's basically. It. Then we have like. For the annual Aurudu festivals, the New Year festivals, we had so those, and yeah, those were the extracurricular activities we had on the Joint Institute. Right. So finally, uh, I'm sure you might have some things to share or say about your parents and your friends and family uh, who supported you in this journey. If there's any message you'd like to share with them? Yeah, uh, like I said before, like I had no intention of becoming a software engineer at first. But then uh, the, I had the persuasion from the school, uh, thanks to my school. So after that, uh, like I told my decision to my parents and at first they were worried. At the first they were because you have no idea of what you're getting into. This might be a, this might be a problem in the future. But either way, they helped me. They said, ah, right, you have the, if you want, you can do it. We'll see. We'll see and try and see what happens. So, like, if you're talking about my parents, my parents gave me the full support and the everything I need for this course. And they they were with me with every single step on this journey. They they were motivating me. Like, 
sometimes when we uh, when we do presentations and stuff sometimes you feel down after the presentation you don't know what's hap- actually happening you feel like you didn't do a good job but at, at that every time my parents were there to uh, motivate me you know it will be good like that right so it's good to hear that uh, that you have overcome you know those fears and i'm sure your parents are very happy and proud of you what you achieved so on behalf of the java institute we would like to congratulate you on your graduation and we wish you all the very best for your future endeavors